Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Moore, DMD. Uh, we're here with our patient who's chipped her tooth. Uh, we've taken an x-ray, and on the monitor, we're able to determine that she's taken a section out of her tooth from a history of chewing ice. Uh, from here, this is the perfect candidate for our CEREC CAD-CAM technology. Uh, so we'll get started with cleaning up the patient, cleaning up the tooth, uh, and restoring the tooth using our computer system. Okay, so we're back. Uh, we've finished cleaning up the tooth and, and preparing the tooth to restore. Uh, our next step is to spray the tooth with a reflective powder. Um, the powder just creates a thin film over the top of the teeth. We're then going to use a light sensing camera that sends a signal down, reflects off the, surf of the surface of the tooth, receives it again, and then basically creates a topography on the computer. So we'll be doing that all step by step uh, as we begin to repair her tooth using the CAD CAM technology. So we're going to clean and air dry the tooth thoroughly. Our silica powder now comes into play. This is edible powder. Uh, we were told by the manufacturer that it's the M on M&M. &M. So it's tasteless and odorless. Once we've got it covered in the way that we want, the camera comes into place. A steady base is achieved. And the digital map is created. From here now, we're going to allow the database on the computer to restore this tooth with some of my own personal interpretations taken into consideration. The first thing we do is trim away the excess teeth and gum tissue. The second step involved is outlining the area to be restored. We've got the ability to rotate and clean line the preparation. We also can zoom into those areas slightly further to enhance what we're seeing. From there, the computer uses this database to morph an average tooth into the space provided, taking into consideration her bite Once that's completed, then I'll have the ability to come in and fine tune to what we know exists in her mouth already. There'll be some editing of the scaffolding lines. To give us the proper contour. This way we can minimize food impaction within the space, so she is less likely to have new decay occur within that space. Now that we've got our scaffolding about where we want it, we're going to use some of our other yeah. controls to better align things. The 
again, one of the best features is the ability to remove the adjacent tooth and control the intensity of contact, how hard it is for her to floss, essentially, or how well I can eliminate food impaction from the equation. Giving a nice, broad, rounded contact area between those two teeth, something that would be impossible if done within the mouth. We're going to add just a little bit to reinforce. Once we're happy with the restoration, the computer will actually generate this puzzle piece for us from a solid block of porcelain. you'll see in the other room. So from our selection of blocks, we were able to minimize the waste by picking the smallest block possible in the shade that best matches her tooth color. And from here, we'll be placing it into our milling unit. From here, the computer will actually measure Each block is measured individually. Uh, each of those diamond impregnated burrs, which are cutting back the restoration, is actually measured for surface hardness, uh, for use, uh, to make sure that everything is lined up properly. And then once the milling process commences, that block of porcelain will be cut back to the size and shape of the opening that we created in her tooth. This generally takes about uh, 10 minutes or so for the, the restoration in place, depending on how long or how large the restoration is. Five minutes later, halfway through the design process. You can see the thing, the yellow way in the shape and the ball shape. Twelve minutes later, our onlay puzzle piece has been completed. As tiny as the restoration is, here it is separate from the block. This then fits within microns of what's existing inside the mouth and will fit in her tooth. We're going to go size that in. All right, so we, here we are back uh, with our patient. We're about uh, 30 minutes into the procedure. We have our puzzle piece ready to go. We're actually going to try it back into the mouth and into the tooth and then be able to actually adjust outside the mouth. So let's go ahead and see what we've got for fit. Go ahead and open the phone, please. We're going to try our own lay-in. And then check our contacts. So it's a little snug. Uh, and this is the beauty of this restoration, is again, I'm able to actually take this puzzle piece from outside the mouth and actually adjust our contact to get the fit just right. And again, our whole goal here is to reduce bacteria collection. I'm actually using a polishing instrument to create a smooth glass finish on the porcelain piece. And we'll come back into the patient's mouth. Try our piece in place. And again, we should have the 
Our next step is to clean everything up. We'll actually prime the porcelain, isolate the tooth, and then cement and bond the tooth into place. Uh, you're getting the, the best of both worlds. You're getting a bonded cement that's going to create a seal around the tooth, as well as having the durability and the thickness of a porcelain piece engineered within microns of the opening that we've just created. So now we, we've overfilled the restoration with a bonded cement. We placed our porcelain puzzle piece in, extruding out the excess cement. We're now going to use a, a light in the ultraviolet wavelength range to cure the cement hard. Good. We'll then remove our isolation materials. Again, removing any of the excess cement before it's completely cured. We'll try our floss again to make sure that there'll be no lunch stuck in between. And again, we'll finish the cure. We're now 40 minutes into the appointment. Uh, her tooth is whole again in a solid piece that gives us a longevity of about 15 years. Uh, it's blended in color and shade to match specifically with her tooth. And other than just tasting a little bad at the moment, she's no worse for wear. Here we're going to just adjust her bite, polish and finish, and she'll be ready for lunch. So we finished. Again, 45 minutes and done. Our patient hopefully smiling, at least with half of her mouth. Mm -hmm.